Good morning and welcome to today's Good Craft Corner. On this video, I will be making these cute little boxes. Um, I call them Easter boxes. If you check back, you'll learn how to make the little tulips so you can have both. There's a, a tutorial and a live stream that I did for the tulip. And now we're going to do a little box. And I will going to tell you the size of this box is, let's get it, drum roll. It is about a little less than four and a half. Four and a half wide. All right. The length is four and a half by almost three, and the height is two inches. So four and a half uh, by three by two inches approximately. And that's what we will be making today. So pull up my board and wait for a little bit. Have my coffee. And here's my scoreboard ready for what I want to do today. Make sure you see it all. Yeah. Move it up a little. Right. Need my coffee. Mm. What I liked about it when I designed these boxes. Mm. I wanted to use it for it can be used for anything for Easter. It's designed for Easter, and I want to put four strawberries in it, but I might change my mind if I don't feel like making strawberries, and I can put whatever I want. And, it, and it's a cute little box, and you don't have to put them all together. I've said that on all the other boxes. Hey, good morning. There's the different colors I want to make today. Curte colors, I thought. I'm not gonna make them all. And I will make a variety of them. I'm going to set them up. We're just not going to put them together. This is what I want to say. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so, let's see. I was trying to find a light blue, but I like this color. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. Let me grab this one first. I got two of these. I, gonna, I might make two. Whatever I got here, I'm making. Let's see. Okay. Well, this is the cardstock, and this is eight and a half by eleven. Um, and I am going to start right now, so that people rewatch it will know from the start how I made this. And I will chat with everybody. Okay, so we are going to get all my little notes here. So let's make sure we do this, right? I'm half asleep, so I should wait for a little bit, but I'm going to go anyway. So I want it on two inches, scored at two inches. Uh, I'm going to be slow because it slides off. Let's go for it, two. And you're going to come here. You can flip it around. Do two inches. Two inches. There we go. Alrighty, and then this way, make sure we do this right. So I'm gonna have to do another one when I get it cut, I have to come back and do this. So two inches on both sides. Okay, and are we ready to roll? And we are gonna go two inches here. Yay, all right, so inches here. And then we go one, two, three, four. Make sure we do this. Looks good. Nope, that looks too much. I think it's three. One, two, three. I have my plan right here. And I just want to make, measure this for a minute. So we probably don't pop after I just didn't read it in range. Should have. That looks like it's about three inches. So I go four at two, then go one, two, Three inches is five, seven, and it should be one, two, three. Perfect. All right, so this is my numbers. It's two, 
five, seven, and ten on the, the length of the side. All right. And then we're gonna have to come back and do something else. So I have to show you in a minute. So great right here. This small part is the lid that's gonna bend over. And I forgot my one hook. I'm supposed to. I'm gonna just just want to get two sections clean up here, right here. All right, so these two sections right here, where you have a one inch, this is three inches the top, which may be off. Right. Thank you for putting up with me, MT, I'm sure. All right. So I just want to kind of build the box. So it's going to go like this, come over and go down, and this will be it. But these two sections right here are too long. They have to be cut down an inch. So I'm going to show you right now because I'm going to cut down this section right here. I'm going to cut everything off. I don't know what it is, why it can't see me. I'll be repeating this again so it doesn't sound so confusing because I got to do a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to go here. Cut. I'm going to turn around. And cut. Basically, one inch is here. And then you got three inches. That's the side you got to cut in. You cut up to where that right here, this mark right there, because I have to come in and score it down one inch. I have to go down here to split this half, and this is going to go at one inch. Just up to where I cut it. This is the same. You can see, cut this in half. So it's like right now it's six and a half, seven and a half. Eight and a half, so it's right here at seven and a half. You'll split the difference of this one. And then we're going to cut that off. And then you'll see now I can construct the box. Oh, hello. For now, downtime. Hello, welcome. I'm going to come over here and cut this box. Okay, I am so happy. So let's cut now. We're gonna cut all the sections down here. This one. Now you might be able to edge it if you want to, just a little pie wedge, but I'm gonna see what folds first before I do that. Sometimes you edge things and you do it too much and then it's noticeable. So I'm not gonna do it this right now. These four lines. Right, so basically, we're going to put the box together. I like doing on camera, it's so uh, a little bit weird, but you can see that it's going to go together like this. And then this is going to flip down. Now we're going to have to cut right here, these two ends too. Basically, let's do this again. I don't, you know, you can fold either way. It doesn't matter one in front of the other, but it's got to go folded up. Like so, this gets folded down. This is going to turn in like that, and this side's going to turn in here. And now we have a cute little box. Um, I have to get my hole punch, but you're going to put it right like this. You're going to make a little hole because it's easier to pull out. Um, and that into the box. So what I'm going to do next, this is for people. Now you don't really need to have a scoreboard. I have that. But if you don't have a scoreboard, all you need is a ruler and something that's going to get you to score the, the card stuff. Now this one I'm going to come in. I want a window in it. So if you want a window, you have to measure uh, three quarters. No, sorry, a half inch. Half inch all the way around it. That's it. I'm going to go 
do it this way. It might even matter. The market, no, maybe it's not because I got an idea for that. Actually, I'm going this way. All right, then I'm going to mark half inch all the way around here. You had a cutter, you could do that. But I like doing a lot of my crafts so that everybody could do them. You don't have to have all these fancy machines to do my stuff. Just a ruler, pencil, and uh, you're gonna make the boxes here, and scissors, and glue, ruler. Thank you for the thumbs up. Okay, so now we're going to come in here. Just don't bend it too much. And I'm literally going to cut around the whole. Where I put the pencil where it's just I'm trying to make it neat, so I might have to lift it. If I do, it's going to be all funny, and I want it to look nicely cut. Right now, if you don't like this, you just go back and erase the lines. You're probably not going to see it anyways. It's in the inside. So now we have that done. I could need some acetate to fill in the section up here. It looks really cool when I'm done with this. I have a piece of them to cut down. I can cut this. I don't have to cut it. As long as it fits here along the edges, I can just estimate and just put a pencil work and then cut it down myself. I don't have to have a cutter or anything. And so.
I'm going to very lightly put them on the very edge of this stuff. Doesn't make too much of a mess. All right. And wipe this off. I see if you see spots, just wait till it's all glued and then take a little clean rag and wipe it off if you don't, because there will be smudges on here if you see it. So just take a cloth after it dries. Don't hit the cardstock with the water and just wipe it off. All right. Okay. Hi, Cliff. Good morning. Mm -hmm. so, at first, I want to sit there for a bit. It's going to take a little longer than a bit to dry, but I don't want to put it together until this stays in place because it's really slippery when you put glue on this. Probably be this section. So we can make sure it stays even when you do the corners. So I'm going to cut this out just a tiny bit to my shape off the ends so it goes nicer. Hey, good morning, Kathleen. Yes, you too. Okay, I'm going to make sure these corners stay nice. So I'm just going to take my time. i got to hold it for a little bit. You can use the tape. Uh, I don't want to waste my tape, but you could use tape. It'll be instant. The corners will be instant using the tape. But I don't care if I use it or not. I just want the corners to stay nice and square. I don't like something. Just gonna knock and turn a little bit. So the coffee that this set is going to slide if I don't let it sit to at least adhere to each other. Right. I was trying to find different colors that were pretty for Easter. So yeah, I like it. It is, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's maybe Tiffany Blue. It's got a green in it, though. Yeah, no, it looks the way it is. Do you want to call it Tiffany Blue? It has it's blue and green together. It's more on the green side than blue. I guess it could be. I guess it could be Tiffany Blue. Forget and, and Stampin' Up. We have this. This color is um. Uh, it has a name for it. I don't know. I'm not gonna run and get the color for you. It's, it's kind of Stampin' Up colors they they make. 
really want that to stay down. You're gonna make your mind up. You want this front part first, and this over top of that. It doesn't really matter which way you're gonna do this. I'm gonna go and let's see. I think I'm gonna do these two sections next, right here. First. Don't like it. Come along and trim a little bit off. I do if I don't like it. You don't have to be that picky, but because they look fine. I just I'm picky, I guess. Uh, plumber's coming out this morning. Oh good. He came out yesterday and they're digging my my septic line tube in kitchen sink won't drain. Oh goodness! Okay, we got plumbers coming up. That's good. Well, thanks, Kathleen. I think they're really cute. I'm happy with them. I I'm gonna do more boxes, but every so often, I'm not gonna do boxes constantly. If you like it, you know where to find them, and you can make your own. Um, and depending on what I want to use it for, I'll make some other thing, other ones. I just want to make them ahead. That's my target for me, is to make boxes ahead, and then I have them ready to go. All right. Bend this back. See, it's not. I got to be careful because the acid is not in there. But I want to bend it back until I put this box together. All right. Corners. Um, this is what I say it's four and a half. I believe that okay, I, give me one sec. Okay, I just want to hold this in place and I'll measure, but I'm pretty sure I said four and a half. The width is just under three, and the height is two inches. Uh, well, that's okay. I'll, I'm gonna do another one, anyways. I gotta do a bunch, I'll put two more together. I just don't want to put that'll make me three. Hi, minute. Thank you. Thanks very much. All right, so I can put this down. Now, um, looks pretty good. I always worry about the corners popping out. So, and if you don't like them, you just trim them up. This. Like I said, that's me being picky. I I made so many of this stuff. I I like it making it look when I give it to somebody. I like making it look nice and neat. Oh yeah, and I also forgot. I gotta come and get. If you want to corner punch it or put a little circle in here, um, I don't have it. I'm not gonna run and go get it. I'll get. I'll do it after. I'll come and show you. Then I'll put the right here. I'll put. I'll, I'll cut off the, the ends. I'll cut off the ends and I'll put the front in after. But basically, that's how you do it. So I'm not going to run. I want to do some boxes, and then I'll go and get the punches and fix them all up. But you can take a pair of scissors and just corner the edges yourself. You know, you don't have to have a punch anyways. All right. Average, yeah, just take scissors and round them off. And then we come back. Feels pretty good. 
And we got my little ribbon here. Okay. There was clip up there. Mike Tyson likes boxing. <laughs> All right. Like I said, I always keep my ribbon on, on the roll. It's it's harder to do it this way, but I like it because I don't waste as much to do a ribbon. So let's see if I can do a pretty dough. I'm tightening it up because I hate, like I said, I hate wasting ribbon. Um, I don't like it. Look, I'm not gonna do it again, but. All right, I'm gonna cut this one off and come back. Tighten it up. This is like really slippery ribbon. All You know what? I think I had a better idea. I'm going to tighten it a knot. If you're having a hard time, just tighten it a knot first. And then this is going to slide off anyways. And then I'm going to come back in here. You're gonna give me a hard time, aren't you? Let's see what I can do. I keep not, I'm gonna put a glue dot on here after because it, it really is slippery. This ribbon is so slippery that it's coming off like crazy. There we did it. Oh, yeah, I knew I could do it eventually. Whatever you do, I learned my lesson. I only found one pair of scissors that's sharp. Make sure you got a sharp pair of scissors. There it is, box number two. Yay! So put decorate whatever you want. You can even come back and put lace around it if you you want. You do whatever folks your boat. Decorating. I might come back and do some laces on it. I'm only going to build three boxes. That's it. So well, this is the next one, and I will score all the rest of them, but I'm not going to build all of them because that's too much space it takes for me. So there you got two. There. What color do you want to do next? Give you a choice. No, I'm calling it, I, since it's my box, it's not a pastry box because it's too small. So yeah, they don't last long. I'm calling it, it's on the title here, my Easter strawberry box, but you can use it for whatever you like. That's what I gave it. That title is an Easter strawberry box because I can't, their pastry boxes are to me a little bit bigger. They are, that's a pastry box, I guess, but um, it's Easter strawberry box. That's what I'm calling this one. All right. So I give you a choice of, I got to do these. And tell me what color you want me to do next. All right, so Kathleen, pick a color. Um, I grabbed these. I thought they looked pretty good, and by the time I put a tool on them or whatever, I'm not gonna do pink again. I just did pink, and uh, I'm not gonna do this color. I just did this color. So, what's the next color? Give me a color you want me to do next. I'll give you just two different greens. There's a purple in here. I couldn't find the kind of purple I want, but I am going to get this figured. Only one color. There's a different green, and we have that. Which color? Green. Which green? Not green? All right. But I'll show you the two greens I got here. All right. That green or that green? One, two. Why? I don't need my cutter at all. I don't need my cutter. You could use it. You could cut it. But, uh, no, I'm not using the cutter on that. The this lighter green. Okay. You 
these will all be done. And I'm just going to put them away when I need them. All right. And I'm not going to cut the hole in them because you don't have to have a lid in them. This is the last one I'm going to cut the hole, put acetate in it because I don't need a lid in all of them if I don't want. What if I don't want to use it for that? You put the lid in, you don't put the lid in, it's totally up to you. Okay, so on the length size, side we're going to. There it is. All right, my stylus. Here's my stylus. Okay. Mm -hmm. So on the leg size, you're only going to do two on both sides. That's two inches. Be careful because, you know, I've had issues. This slides for me. There, that looks good. And then I'll flip it over. And the length, both sides and the length. Or the height, sorry. This is the length, the height. The height. So on your eight and a half, you're going to do two inches on both sides. So we're going to do it towards the 11 side and we're going to score at 11. We're going to go two inches. All right. I had, I had notes here, but I should put this down. So I believe this is one, two, three, at five. Okay. Four, two. Five inches. Five inches. Just writing my notes to make sure I know the next time I do this. Five inches. I'm going to get the back. I'm writing them at the same time. Like seven inches. Seven inches. Seven inches. Oh, I did seven inches. And then you're going to come back. Um, what did I do here? All right, so you're going to count one, two, three. So you're going to do this at, let me make sure it's one, two, three. This has to be three inches because that's the height. And you're going to come back at 10 and score at 10. All right, so I can repeat these score lines if you want me to. On, I'll do it again. On the eight and a half, you score 11 and 10. That's how we build this box. All right. I still have to come back and put my box too, but I can do that after. So, and you're going to have to come back. This is the tricky part. It's not really tricky. I'm only going to go right in here to show you. You're going to cut right. There's the one inch. And you're going to come here. Where, what did I say that was? Um, I think seven inches, whatever. This is a big seven inch part. You're going to come here. And you're going to clip only these two sections because you have to come back and score two more lines. You want to break this into uh, one inch sections. So you're going to come up here. Right. And then you put it back in the board. And then you're scoring at one inch right here, just to cut line. That's where I cut it. You're going to come back here and you go at seven and a half inches. So that's got to get cut off. Right, so we just built that's the main part you gotta be careful for. That is the lid, it's the cover, I gotta say. That's what you're more important for. You gotta make sure that you cut these down the one half inch, but you have to do it after. Uh, unless you want to score it, you can score it then, but you might make a mistake mistake and score it all the way down the whole thing, and you don't need two inches on the whole thing. You only need it on the very top where you're cutting it in half for one inch on each side. So there you go. And I'm going to cut everything down before I, I put the do the inside of this. So we're going to cut it all down. Cut all the sections from the box.
No, I don't have a burning shoe tool. They would tell you most you, you could burnish it. It's just not with me. And this cardstock is pretty thin that you could do that yourself by folding it up. You don't need to sit there and burnish it. You don't have to have that tool is what I'm trying to tell you. But lots of things they say you burnish it. Some things you need it for or you just need a ruler or whatever will force it down. And so, you know, I just made this. Sections. And la voila is my box. It's not glued together. And I'm going to come in here. And this is the part. But if you want a window, you don't have to have a window. It looks cute without a window. I just showed you that. But if you want a window, then you're going to have to measure in the inside. I'm only doing it the inside so it looks neater. You don't see it. See, when you do the boxes, you don't even see my pencil marks at all. So you're going to want a half inch all the way around this whole thing. So I'm using a pencil, lightly marked pencil, so that you don't, if you want to erase it, you can erase it. Just so you make sure you get all the lines in here. Matter of fact, I could do all that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go here. I might actually even cut all the holes out of these because I really do like the lid on them. I like the acetate on them. So I can go to that far. I can go as far as doing this. I'm just not going to assemble them. Matter of fact, I might not even assemble this one. I think I'm just going to set them up. And then I can store them. When they're all when I need them. That's it. And I'll have the acetate in them already. I think that's what I'm going to do for me. Of course, if you're making them, you can do it for whatever you want to do. You want to make them up right away? And you got the space? Go for it. I just don't have the space for it. So I, I don't I only want to show you how to assemble and do it, but I don't want a whole lot of them. Okay. Who is still here? I bet you it's empty and Kathleen. All right, let's go in here. Good thing I need to get these done. Yes, I saw it tonight. And I don't yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. This might be a little too small for that, though. I think it's a little too, it's got to be bigger than this size. I think this might be a little bit too small. Remember when you would get a corsage in a cute box? Yeah. Yeah. I remember. I don't think I could, this is too small for a corsage, but yeah, I do remember that. It's cute. So I'm going to see if I can do it like an assembly line today. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like an assembly line. And I'm going to cut, score all the boxes, come and cut them all. And then um, I just do something a little different since it's just a few of us anyway. If anybody has any questions uh, or you want to know anything, I'm right here. Okay, so now I'm going to come up this one. Okay. Another piece. This time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do a corner so I know where the edges are to cut both sides. Hopefully, this will work out nicely for me. All right. Here. Yeah. 
Uh, how many do you have? I don't have to make. Um, I don't know. I'm. I was buffering when you said the measurements. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do some more. So I will be doing some more in a minute. All right. Let me just. Uh, I'll keep doing them, Kathleen. I'm gonna do them like an assembly line today. Unless somebody comes in and wants to see exactly how to do it, I'll say it. I'll tell you measurements and everything. I'm just gonna set them up as far as this. That's as far as I'm gonna do, and uh, and I can put it together like fake for anybody that really wants to know. So I'm going to do the next one and next one, just like I'm going to do them all in a row, just assembly line, cut them. And I just won't assemble them. Uh, there we go. Right. And I'll come out and clip them all and they'll be all set. I need my, I got to get my punch, but I don't want to go and get it right yet. But I will go get my punches to Clip the corners off and the front section there. All right, here we go. As long as it's not interfering the plastic, you're all set. Because I don't know how many people come in and say, oh, you didn't cut that acetate right on that box. As long as it seals, and then I'm going to put this aside on my other chair. And see, I might, when I go to assemble the box, if, like I said, I've said it tons of times, that if you don't like it, just clip some, see right here, it might, I have the feeling that's going to cause trouble. I'm going to come out and just uh, see my beautiful scissors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put my chair beside me to dry. I'm going to put that one out of the way. Let's come back with my board again. And, and here we go. Here comes the scoring, okay? I'm going to do it all in a row. And I'll, every time I score it, I'll tell you where I'm scoring it. I'm going to do it like an assembly line. All right. So here we go. We're going to go on the eight and a half sides. Yeah. Eight, eight and a half sides. We're going to go two inches on each side. So I could go two when I come over here, but I just flip it along the eight and a half side and go two. That to me is the easiest way to do it. And then we're going to go along here. And we're gonna go and score at two. Yeah, I knew it would come easier once they start doing them. And I know five. Uh, then you're gonna go seven. And then you're gonna go ten. Right? So two, five, seven, ten. Let's do this again. Like I said, next. Two on each side. Two on each side. Come in here. We are going two. Five. Seven. Ten. Next. All right. Two on the eight and a half inch side. Flip it. On the other side, here we go, two inches, eight and a half, eight in, sorry, an 11 inch side. We're going two, we're going five, we're going seven, and we are going ten. Next. Look at how fast it is. So I'm, I guess I'm showing you, it's the first time I ever did it this fast. I don't really have to do it this fast, but. It's possible if you want to do a whole bunch that you just do it this way as an assembly line. And you can get done in no time. Two, five, seven, ten. Next. All right, two. On both sides. I'm eating after side two. 
two inches on both sides. And they're going to go two on the one inch, two, five, seven, ten. Done. Oh, I will go. I must have three yellow. Oh, well. There are two different types of yellow. So on the eight and a half, we go two on each side. Two. Two. We're going to go two and five and seven and ten. And there we go. We are done. And another blue one because I love the blue. I did another blue and a pink. I swear I had two greens. What did I do with that one? Oh, yeah. No. I should. I love that color. I actually should come back. I might grab another one of those. As you put it, what'd you call it? Uh, Tiffany blue or something? I like it. I might grab another one of those. Um, shoot. What do we need to flip to? And we got two, five, seven, ten. Next. All right. The pink one. That was pretty cool. All right. Two. Two. On the 11 inch side, we're going to go two, five, seven, ten. Whoa, that one went off a little bit, so let's go fix this one. Uh, so, um, yeah, we can fix that, though. That one went off a bit. All right, we are done those. I might do some more, depends on how much time I got on here. But we are done, the assembly line part. Oh, no, we're not. We have to come back and do the two-inch. Okay, so let's do this. The next thing we're going to do... Let's cut the section up here from where there's a one inch here, and that is a three inch line. So that would have been on the marker 10, and I think it's seven. And we're going to come up here. I think I'll do both this time. Here. I right, should cut the right one. See, it's slid. This is the only one I slid. But it's still, I'm still not going to waste the ball because I can decorate it and hide that part. All right, so we're going to do this another one. We're going to come back here. Okay, we'll do the 10 mark. And over here. I guess I didn't have to do this. I didn't have to cut that. I could do that after because technically you didn't have to do that for and come back in here. Just might as well do these right now too. And just where did I put it? So you're gonna go on the one mark going just those two sections. One and then you're gonna come here at seven and a half and right there and do this two sections. And technically you didn't have to cut in that first one. I don't want to. I I just have it all set now. So now I go in, cut along the line. Along. Now, if, if you want to do it, you can actually do it right when you're doing all the scoring. But I think it's you'll forget. You might make a mistake. So that's why I didn't do it that way. But technically, when it's all in here and you're scoring, you could actually go one, two, but you have to know you can only score up to the, the point right here. So it was easier for me to double score how I did it for me. But you could do it if, you, if you're going to, you know, if you want to come back and score it up here where the one inch mark in, in right here is, and you can technically go from one to right here yourself, right when you're doing all the scorings. But like I said, I played it safe. I didn't want to make a mistake, so that is what I did. All right. Right. Okay. Yeah, seven and a half.
Oh, we've got a lot. We're going to come back. And now I might as well leave my board there. And I can come in and cut, I'll just cut some sections out. Please hold it down first if you want. And then. Let's start. I'm going to come back and do all the rest after I'm done. I'm going to do this part. So okay. Like I said, I keep pulling the board, go back and forth, but if you want to do a, a bunch of boxes, this is kind of the way to do it. Like an assembly line. As long as you don't make a mistake, because you'll make it through all of the boxes. So that's not quite a good idea. But you could right here come back where I scored it at too. I could come back here and score it up one right there. I could come back before I cut it down and go here. Make sure you're not gonna you're just gonna go to line. So you can do that extra scoring if you want to make it easier for yourself and if you're in a hurry. But I did it. I think these are going to fit uh, four Rocheros really good in here too. I would make a cute little box for um, those Rocheros or whatever. You put four in a box. That'd be kind of cute too as a, a gift. Right. So since I started this, I might as well do it again. Uh, okay. Got score my scoreboard. Okay. Got my scoreboard and paper out. Want me to get another sheet? I'll do another one with you. You ask away what you want me to tell you. It's all on here. Okay. I think we're definitely delayed here a bit. Yeah, you can do that after though. Leave it off. Don't put it on right away. You don't even have to make, you don't have to put the acetate if you don't want that thing. I think we have a delay though in our uh that's what I'm saying. If you don't want to put the acetate, you don't have to do that. You can leave them blank too. They're cute like that, just blank. I'm going to put these all.
so you cut it all apart. Um, just be careful what you're doing here. Did you score it already? Did you do this here? Did you did you come here? You're not cutting all the score lines. You have to cut. Uh, you have to cut certain spots. So let me do this again. Do you have one scored already? Just tell me you're with me here. I don't have another card. I can get another one. It's technically that score line. So no, you don't cut all the score lines out. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I have to go with you. Let me grab another sheet of paper. I'll be right back. I got to get a punch anyways. And I'll do one right from the start. I get another color. Uh, what color do I like? I want to get one of those too. So it's all score. Yeah, it's, it's is it? Yeah, yeah, it's score. Okay, I got another one. I'm. You can just listen to me. Then I'll score it again. Okay, so this way you'll know from the very start. I'll do this again. All right. So you're gonna score it at on the eight and a half inch side. We're gonna score it at two. We're gonna come over here, flip it, and score it at two again. All right, then you're going to go the 11 inch side. We're going to go two, five, seven, ten. All right, I can get this out of here now. Well, actually, I'm going to come back. So if you want to do it, so then you make sure you can do it after, before. All right, so where it is, there's seven and 10. There's a one inch gap and a three inch gap. You're gonna slip it over here and you are only gonna score this one right up to that line where my finger is. You only go half of the box. And you're gonna come over here and do the same thing at seven and a half. You just go up to my finger, seven and a half. Okay, so you're with me so far. Morning, me. So you're with me so far. Yeah, no problem. All right, so Kathleen, I don't know if you know what I said. So we're gonna go, let's try it this way. The first part you're gonna do, if you wanna score all the lines, go ahead. Let's do that. I don't have to, but um, let's let's make sure they're all burnished the lines. This is so scored so nice, I don't even have to worry about anything. Um, I just don't even have, have to have them. It, it's, it's full perfect. Okay, so where the one inch mark is, and then you have the one right here. Let's cut this off. This is how we'll start. We'll cut that off first. We're going to cut that off. And I'm going to show you exactly step by step where to cut. And I don't want you to make a mistake because you're technically not cutting. You're cutting all the side lines, and that's it. But you're not going all the way down. When you said cut all the score lines, that kind of says you're cutting all the way down. I don't think you're doing that, but just in case. Right? We're going to come over here and do the same thing. All right, so you tell me when you're with me. It should look like this. You should have a one inch, then you got three inch section here, and then you got a two inch section, three inch section, and a two inch section right here. 
You want me to continue on or how are you doing out there, Kathleen? Because now I'm going to cut this section right here. I'm going to cut right there. This is going to form the lid. When you fold these two in, you're going to come over here, cut this section right along, all the way down. Doesn't matter if you cut it before or after, as long as it gets cut down, it doesn't really matter. And this, you fold it all in. Here's your lid. That's what we're looking for. That's the first section right here. You're looking for that, and these two are going to get glued together, and I'll trim whatever I got to do with it, right? So then we're going to basically cut this section and this section, and that completes all the cutting you got to do on these boxes. Okay. Oh, let me show you. Let me get one that's already scored, okay? You're going to see this. I think you're behind a little bit. It'll make sense to you, Kathleen, when you catch up. All right. Let me get you. This is one I didn't do yet. I still have to score it at the one inch mark. Let me score this and then and I'll give you two to get this. Back to do this one here. All right, here's the one that I did, right? Here's the exact model. You're going to cut. This section basically needs to be cut off. Where's a pencil? Uh, let's see. All this cut off. This whole section in here has got to get cut off. Along with this section right here has to get cut off. Right? Hi, Eric. So cut all this section off, right? And then you're going to, I'm trying to show you how you do this. Okay, so if I cut that off, it'll look like this. That's the best way to look like this. And then I cut in here, I cut this, these two, the first score mark of, of the 10 inch. And then there's another one at seven. Thank you. Seven. And there's a five and a two. So it's along the, it's basically you're cutting just, along the eight and a half inch is where you're going, just the eight and a half inch. So um, I lost me at the last two score marks. What side? Okay, so it's the left and right side on the 11 or the eight and a half inch side. So here's the eight and a half inch side facing you right here, eight and a half inch side facing you. And you're basically cutting this stuff all the way down there. All the lines do not get in here, just the two sides you're cutting off, right? This section you cut off, this one inch section, and then you're gonna cut, cut here, cut here, cut here, cut here. Now this squall line is, is at one inch. The score line is at one inch. Now there's the last one. Okay, let's start this again. Here, let me show you, I'll bring the board back. Let's do it all together. Let me try this again. All right. I know you know you you have this already. Right? It's scored at two. <clears throat> and then flip it around, score it at two on both sides. And then we came in and we scored it at two, <clears throat> five, <clears throat> seven, and ten. Which this ten is the one inch here. We flip it around. All right. Then we came back and we scored from here to here. So we brought it back in the board. Scored from one inch just to the second half, which is considered seven right here. And then we got one inch. So do you understand there's only one section? That's the top. You have to cut the top down. So we're cutting this section off. 
this section off. And then you're going to just slice here, slice there, up to here. All the sides on the eight and a half inch line gets cut. So two, five, seven, and ten. Uh, I'm typing so I can screenshot. Okay, yeah. It's two. It's You're missing something, though. Wait a minute. No, no. Score one mark ver vertically. No, 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 no. You're, you're typing it wrong. No, because you you got score one mark. No, the eight and a half gets scored at first. Don't ignore this. At first, you're scoring at two, flipping it around at two. So the eight and a half gets scored at two inches on both sides, not one. That's I think that's what's confusing you. So the eight and a half gets scored two on each side. Score at two, <clears throat> right? Are you guys with me so far? Okay. Then you flip it around. And you're going to score the 11 at side at 2, 5, 7, and 10. I don't want to move on until you get, you're not too confused here. So, right? Eight and a half inch side, score two inches at each side. 11 is 2, 5, 7, and 10. And then it's this little section. I think it's behind. That's why. And this little section, like I said, I did it after to confuse me too. I didn't want to be confused and I want to cut the rest on. But if you want, you're going to cut, you're going to score at one inch only right here. You're splitting the half. That's the lid. You only need one section. And, and it starts off with the one inch. And then there's three inches in here. Um, so, you, yeah. Maybe start on the top. So, you guys, are you good? You have any questions? Um, if I'm here for you. I got more boxes, so I'm going to continue doing this. And if you have a question, I got it. I still have a card left here, but I'm going to cut these down so they're all the same. All right. No, that's it. And, and everything's okay. Yeah. Score. No. No, 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 no. You're you're not taking a score. No, but you're getting confused. You're not going to score one inch all the way down. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Do not put that score line for one inch yet. Score at one, but you're only going to here. If you do that, you're going to have two score lines all the way down, and that's not what I'm saying to do. Score vertically to AF at, at two inches. Eight and a half inches scored at two inches on both sides. Right? Leave it at that. Eight and, on the eight and a half inch, it's got at two, two inches on both sides. And then flip it around. Do not worry about this yet because I knew it was going to confuse you. So that's why I did it after. Technically, I would come back. This is what I was doing before because I was trying to make it more easier for everybody. I would not ignore the one line and then I would cut it here. I wish you could type directions in the description. No, I'm not typing them all. That's too much work for me. It's really not that hard what I'm telling you. Um, to do. If you don't want one inch all the way down here, you only want it from here to here scored, right? There's your score line right here. If, if you score one all the way down, you're making a mistake. So, anyways, I'm going to continue on, but that's the point. Two, two, and then we did two, five, seven, ten, and then you come back, cut this, this first, and then score right here. That's where I don't want you to make a mistake, is this one here. Don't make a mistake on that. Make sure, because that's your lid. You don't, you want, your lid has to be more narrow than the base of the box. So, these are going to get cut off. I'll cut these off right now. I'll show you what it looks like. There. Look, maybe, does that help? That's the lid. You don't want the, that's the base is bigger. So it's only this top section where the one inch is. And these are going to fold in to make the lid.
what inch is it cut to? You're just cutting it. All right. Let me put it in the score box. If this makes it easier for you. Look, I'll put it right here. You can see it. I don't want you to do that because I think you're making it more confusing than it is. It really is easy. Uh, no, what inch is the cut to? The seven inch line. No, 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 no. It's not. Don't put seven in. <laughs> They're so funny. It's this. It's wait. Did she say seven? Oh, the seven inch. Yes. Okay. You're good. Yeah. There you go. Seven inch line. <sighs> Great, there. There it is. And I'm going to put that aside. Oh no, I want to punch. I'm going to do everything right now. If you want to do stuff, or punch and all that, it's probably it's the best to do it right now before you assemble it. So I'm actually going to come out. I want to make sure. Uh, wait a minute, because I know I did something funky before on this. I'll make sure. You either put it together. Well, I would take a pencil and put where the half mark is. And then I'm going to come back and cut this. Did I get too? Maybe this was too big. No, 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 was it too big? What did you say? No, it's pretty big. You got all that cut ahead, and then you can cut the corner pieces too if you want. Um, I don't have the corner rounder, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it myself. So let me just cut the edges. Do this now. Nope. Oh.
There. So I'm going to clip it all ahead, and then I'm going to put them away after. But I, I put a little one inch here. I mark the center, and there's it. Then I curve the two inches. That's the top of the box. So when you put it together, it'll be a nice little thing on the side here, like it. Please. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the acetate on here. So you're going to measure two inches inside the lid right in here. So I'm putting all my boxes. Unless somebody really needs me to put one together, um, I'm just going to continue making my boxes. And you can chat all you want or ask questions, anything you got. a half inch. Hey, hi, Sheila. How are you, honey? How are you doing, hon? Good as you, no, good as than you. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Very good. We had a little issue yesterday, but all is good. Um, I was worried about the bunny. My daughter's bunny had to go in and uh, she thought it died and she was very upset about it. So um, it went in for observations, her little bunny. It's called Bun Buns. And I did a video on Bun Buns on my other channel. And Bun Buns is not, Looking too good. And what they found out was, I guess, bunnies can't have gas. If they have gas, they can't get rid of it. It actually can kill a bunny. I mean, normally that would be a funny thing to talk about gas, but in this sense, for a bunny, um, if a bunny gets gas, it, it kills a bunny. So that's what they found out so far. They were observing it, and she wasn't eating for several days, so they were trying to feed her. But because of the gas part, um, she wasn't eating, I don't think. And so, uh, it's, I know, I thought the bunny was old. It's not, Misha. It's only, um, how old is Bun Buns? My, uh, dwarf bunnies can live up to 10 years. Uh, I I don't, I could be off. I think she's had her for at least three years, four. And I said, that's why I thought it was an age thing, but it wasn't. It's, it's, they can live up to 10 years. And so my, her and my son-in-law, I knew they were upset because that, that animal is an adorable little thing that they treat it like, they don't treat it like a bunny. They treat it like a family member. So she was really upset. So anyways, I didn't come on. Not that you cared if I was here or not, but um, I didn't come on yesterday because she was too upset. And I, I feel felt bad for her and, and I wasn't coming on. Um, like I said, family, you, you all know that family comes first. If something's wrong that I'm not here, that's normally why. Um, and I'm going to come back. I did this one already. And I'm going to come back and fix the front of this one right now. So this is pretty well. I'm going to do this up. I'm going to put the acetate and it'll be done. I'm going to go and fix around the edges on this one. Yeah, I just, I like putting a, I made a mistake before, so I like putting a pencil where the center is. Come back with my one inch punch. Well, I don't know if it's okay. I have no idea. She, um, we're not sure if it's made it or not. So, great. It was in for observation, and we don't know. She'll probably pull me today. Um, so, the, it was an expensive little thing. But you know, um, when 
your animals go kind of mice out the door until it gets fixed. And then you say, oh my God, that was a lot of money, but it's going to cost her a bit of money. But I, money didn't, she didn't hesitate. She's like me. When it comes to the, the injured animal, the money comes after. Like you complain about, oh my God, how expensive it is, but you do it. You do it, don't worry about the bill. And then afterwards you might complain, which kind of makes sense anyways. This is, um. I'm going to use this one. You know that, I uh, guess the drive was good. I, You know what? I got this acetate. You're going to love this. It was Valentine's acetate that for stickers and I kept it. So it's uh, right here. It's a thinner one than, I, than the one I paid for, but I'm going to use that up. I'm going to use my acetate. My, I'm going to recycle acetate is basically what I'm saying. I'm going to recycle acetate. Mark it. It was a wonderful drive. 70 degrees, not busy. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad you had a nice. I'm glad you had a nice drive there. All right. Hey, right. anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're safe. Had a nice drive. Yes, you did. You said, yeah. I'm glad she did too. And uh, it's good to recycle acetate. I'm just telling you. If you got it, put it away because this is this uh, acetate's not cheap to buy sometimes. So if you can get it off of boxes or anything and get it off of and it looks in good shape, uh, I would use it. This actually was so cheap. The sticker cost a dollar something for Valentine's. And the acetate was worth it more than the actual sticker. Right. If you're, if it, you don't like it, I'd come back with lace or whatever. If there's, let's say you made a mistake somewhere and you don't like what you did, just cover it up with some lace on the front of it. All right, I'm gonna let the side go. The assembly side, so that's right now. Two boxes I got, and I'm not gonna put them together because I don't want to put them together. They're space saving me. Okay, next.
Oh, I've added, <laughs> have you? That's cute. Well, I think I want to do it. I'm going to do some more projects. I have another one on the go, like I said. But I was, you know what I was doing yesterday? I was, like I said, I was on the phone a lot. Um, and then I got to have a chance to work on my um, my Abbott containers and the boxes. And I have something else cute to show you uh, that I did for my mom. Uh, but I, I have to wait. I have to wait and show you later. I'm not showing you today. Because I'm going to try to do it online, which is going to be really awkward, this one I got planned. Oh, my God. So awkward, but it's all using recycled material. And, um, well, I can tell you what it is. I'm not going to show you. I made a St. Patrick's Day hat for her. I was looking, and I said, she said, we were talking, we didn't make anything for St. Patrick's Day. I said, I don't know, I'm having a hard time figuring out what craft to make, considering it's a lot of gaudy stuff for St. Patrick's Day. is a bunch of three-leaf clover. I shouldn't say I love St. Patrick's Day, and I love, I cook special recipes on St. Patrick's Day, but the crafts are not kind of my favorite thing. They're all in green, and, but <clears throat> I did, I'm working on a hat for her. So I will come back and try to do that hat for me. Only what I learned, I've made hats before. I've sewn hats and made them. But when you make a hat, oh, gotta clean up. Clean that off after. Yeah, I made a hat, and it's it's not a cute. It's a cute hat, but it's not like a hat you would wear all the time. I I I want to work on that. I want to see if I could do a design. I have made hats for little kids. I've made hats when when they were younger. I made hats, but um, this one's more for fun. So I made it out of everything's recycled on it. It's cardboard. Um, I use you're gonna love this. I use cereal boxes. I wanted to come up. I did it within. I made the design within a couple an hour or something. I just have to paint it all. So the painting is taking me a while to and decorate the hat to show you. But um, I think she's gonna like it. The thing that I learned was when you measure your head for this and when you actually glue it to a cardboard stable base, it doesn't fit your head. It's like too. So I took a cereal box and it slid right on my head and I thought, oh, this is perfect. I did it for my mom. I took I took the measurement and, and put it on her head and it was huge on her head. The minute I took the cereal box and turned it circle, 
and put it on cardboard to make it stable on the top part of it. It didn't fit her head. It's too small. So um, I try to keep working on it. So now I have to figure out for me, how does that size work to resize it so that it's bigger? Because taking something around like a, I, I have a piece of a round syrup. My grandmother was a freshman. Oh, yeah. And she also did. Oh, wow. That's cool, Kathleen. Very cool. I even have, I even have hot pins. Yeah. I have hot pins. But uh, this is going to get a little bit carried away. And I'll probably come back and wipe the, I'll wipe this stuff off to make sure it's clean before I put it away. So. Let me show you something I want to talk about. I'm going to try to do it online. It's really high, and I'm going to cut the height down. But this is how it started out. Right there. And actually, I find this way too tall. It's way too tall for me. I don't like I, the hat is way too tall for me, so I'm cutting this down. But... You take this thing, all right, and you make it circle. The diameter in here is huge. It falls off my head. The minute you put it down stable on something, it's tiny. It's way, way, way too small to put on your head by the time I show you how I did this. So I have to extend this cardboard for me, and I'm not sure if I'm going to extend it too big, but I'm going to work on it. I'm going to see if I can do it. It's very awkward online, though, and I'm thinking. This, how tall is this? This is, I think it did about six inches tall. No, you know, this is like about six and a half. Um, and I don't like how tall it is, so I'm cutting it down at least. I don't know. I want to go one, two, three, four. Five inches. I don't even think that's enough. Five inches is still too tall, I think. But I'm going to take my mom's hat and measure how, how tall that went. Let's see. Your husband's sure of cereal? Well, um, I, I told you I keep boxes. I keep them for journals, but I keep them for obviously other things too. And I'm going to come across here and cut it. I don't think I'm going to cut it right now. I want to finish my boxes, but if I'm still, if I'm not on here too late, I'll come back and cut this. Oh, what the heck? I should get it done. It's going to get extended. <laughs> I may have to come up with a pattern doing it right on the line. I'll figure this out because this I'm going to do something right now. I might as well cut it. I don't know if this is, I don't want it any taller than this. Uh, I knew you couldn't resist. I know I couldn't. I can't. You know what? That's why I come on here. I get my project done. I don't, I am, I'm really good about it. I do a lot of stuff offline, but if I tell you, I'm going to, even if I'm by myself, these whole live streams, matter of fact, I could save that for something too. Um, I will not, I will not do it until it's done. All right, I'm going to come on. I want to show you. This is what I'm talking about. Let's measure this. All right. Because I'm going to have to extend it. This is way too small for my head. Believe it or not. My, I must have a really big head. But watch. This is. Um, all right. Actually, I'm going to put this here too. I said this is roughly five inches. So we're going to go. Five inches tall. All right, gotta mark it all. And I wanna see how big this is. What is that? That's one. There's one foot, 12 inches. Okay, my <laughs> this is two foot and uh, what is this, a half inch? This part here, this whole thing is two. No, that's two feet. Believe it or not, two feet and a half inch. And this is, <laughs> I got a freaking big head. It doesn't, my mom has a tiny, small head. And this 
will not fit her head. When you go to put it into a circle, this time I'm going to put the, the good cardboard in. I have to come back with another piece uh, that's that wide and extend it so that it fits really big. And that might actually fit my head, believe it or not. I'm just, it, it amazes me how big this is, and it will not fit your head. Um, you know, I can put this on, it'll fit my head. So all I did was I cut this, I overlapped it, and her head was way too small by the time I was done with this. Um, way too small. So I have to extend it. I have to extend a big section. I hope it fits my head. That's the part where I'm having an issue with. You can measure your head. But the cardboard doesn't bend the way you want it to. It's <laughs> it is. I don't don't even hope it is. Smarty pants. Um, it is all brains. <laughs> oh, it's all brains. It is smarty pants. Hmm. Anyways, you should. It's funny though how it works. I'm just telling you. It's not as simple as taking this and taking the main thing that slips over your head to do this hat. It's totally different. So if I were to measure the circle on my, my head, well, let me see. This is what I'll, I don't have a measuring tape. But I would, if I measure my hat, my head, yeah, it's just weird. <laughs> Leave your hubby alone. He's not here. I'm going to say, Leave him alone, Misha. He's not here to defend himself, your poor hubby. Listen to me now. Leave the hubby alone. You know what? I never pick on somebody that's not around. I try not to do that unless they're really bad. But even then, I don't want to do that. I always like, you always have to pick on when they're there so they have a chance to defend themselves. That's kind of how I work. And my husband hears me. So when I, when I talk, he hears everything I say. I don't hide nothing. I mean, right now he's in a room. Probably, you know, he does. He hears everything I say, but he shuts his brain off and not listen to me anymore. <laughs> he said, I have never heard. I lived with her for so many years. I'm not listening to her anymore. <laughs> So anyways, that's what I'm going to be working with to do this hat that I'm working on. And I can't wait to show you. It's a cute little project that I did for my mom. All right. Let me go back to my box. Okay. Look, I got a couple more. We don't drink pop that much, so my mom drinks ginger ale, but she takes a couple days to drink a can. So that she's the ginger ale girl, and I have I got a few, but still leave lots more. There's my there's my projects with toilet paper rolls right here. You only speak the truth. Why isn't anybody on my side? <laughs> Where's Lisa? Ah, you're funny. Okay, so anyways, that's the toilet paper stuff. Don't forget this. I gotta come back and finish these. My little ugly things that she calls poopy. Poopy uh, things. I need a whole bunch of these. And I want to make them look pretty. So my job is to do 40 of them and they got to come out pretty. So I'm not making them pretty until I come back online, but they're better. They actually look at them. They're nice and dropping. They can drop and they don't damage each other. Very All right, I'm about to finish the box. Um, there's next. I love this color. All right. See, I can do whatever I want. I want to cut the curves, cut the circle. I can do whatever way you want to do it. As long as you get them all done, it doesn't matter what's do this first, do this first. I'm going to do this one. I'm in the mood to do this second. I'm going to cut the ends. Oh, okay. Well, hi. Enjoy your oil change. Oh, 
Oh, it's hard to believe. I've been on for two two hours. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. 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 The center of this. No, wait a minute. Are you talking about how long I've been on a live stream? Is that what you're saying? That's nothing how long I've been on? Yeah, I'm trying to get, no, I don't want to get too ridiculous with live streams. I mean, I'm, I don't want to live on here. Uh, so I'm trying to be fair here to get my projects done, but not stay on too, too long. I have to make supper too. What time is it? It's 12 to, yeah. All I care is I get the, the the project of the day, whatever I'm working on, I get it done. And you guys learn something and then I move on to something else. Um, I always, I'm always thinking the next thing. So I have all those projects sitting there, which uh, some of them are a hold up because I don't have all the stuff. And then I, the journal sitting there because I'm getting so close to finishing the, the cancer journal. I'm very close to finishing it. I just have a couple things I want to do. I got, oh, I found something else I can work on too, the charm. I found a chain in my goodie piles of stuff, my metal pile. And I figured out I wanted a longer chain to, to put the dangle on the side of the book. And I found the chain. I was hunting because I need all that for the Avent stuff, the boxes. And I can't wait to show you that. The box, one of them, I got a few things more to do, paint the inside of it. And I'm my boxes are being decorated. I'm trying to decorate it inside and out. I'm putting texture in the inside with the napkins. So I'm actually using all my junk pile up too. I'm using all lots of napkins to do all the projects I'm doing. Uh. Now, what can, can you think of making with hamburger, but not tacos? Shepherd's pie, no noodles. How about... Meatloaf, easy meatloaf. That's what I'm making for supper today. Meatloaf, meatballs. Let me see. Um, meatloaf is good. I'm just telling you, that's what I'm making today is meatloaf. But I'm making my normal meatloaf, not the one mixed with pork. Because, um, so you don't want a tacos. You don't want shepherd pie. Like I said, meatloaf, uh, meatballs and spaghetti. Oh, you don't want noodles, so you don't want spaghetti sauce. Um, what else can I think of? You do all kinds of stuff. You can actually, um, you, yeah, meatloaf is what, yeah, see, she came up with it. She probably thought of it at the same time as me. That, my, number one is meatloaf when I think hamburger. But, um, yeah. Yeah, you could do that. I would do that. I love make meat, meatloaf, the ones in the pan if you want. My, today my mother asked if I could, I said, I'll make meatloaf. She likes me when I do the bigger meatloaf because she has one meat. <laughs> uh, I do the bigger one, she'll have more meat to eat. So let's But, uh, oh yeah, I can make a hamburger, yeah. I'm making myself a, uh, 
I'm making myself appreciate hamburger. There you go. That was one chunky cheese. I put about like a half inch chunk to a, like a one inch, like half one inch chunk, half inch, maybe a half inch chunk of cheese in the pan. Don't go too crazy, but a half inch of a chunk of cheese. And put the sharper, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I like sharp cheddar, but you can use any kind of cheese, but I like using sharp cheddar. It's good. Very good. I, I like all kinds of cheese, which, you know, too much cheese isn't good for you, but I do like it. Every kind of cheese. The only one that might, is not my favorite, and but yet I've tasted it good. I don't like blue cheese. I can't stand blue cheese, but I have tasted it in recipes where it wasn't too bad. When I did a, uh, well, I had a pecan, maple syrup, blue cheese salad, and that was good. You have candied pecans in it. Um, that's really good salad. And that's the only time I've ever had blue cheese. I don't really love it. I'm not a fan of it. But I could eat it if it was done in the right way. I like white cheese. Yeah. Did you spray the? Yes. Yeah, spray them a little bit. Because even though they have a lot of fat content in it, um, it could still stick. So this it'll make it easier to wash off the pans after. Chunky cheese. That's what the girls called me in high school. All right. Wait a minute, did I get all the slides down? Did I get all the slides down? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. I was afraid I didn't cut the slides down. That would not be good. Okay. Okay, let's go do it. I had a job at a piece of place called Chunky Cheese. This stuff is a mouse.
Um, how's the weather, Kathleen? How's your pipes? That's what she wants to know. Yeah. I was thinking it was okay because you got a plumber now going. Hey, hi. Hello. Hello there, let's oh, yeah. Wait for the dogs. Journal boxes? No, you fail. Does anybody ever read the front of my channel? Anybody ever read it? This would be an awfully small journal box. Um, no, this is a little boxes I made before. Oh, I'm, I'm too excited. <laughs> I'm too excited. This is the one I was talking about, the strawberry box, and um, I called it the Easter Easter strawberry box. I made up my boxes. I call them whatever I want to call them. Uh, that's I'm happy with that. Next. The colors because it makes me feel better when I switch up the colors. It's a little box.
Um, when I was in, when I was little, I used to go to the country and pick strawberry uh, strawberries. Nine million strawberries. You eat some of them. Walk out there three twenty. Yeah, we'll do it again. Pick a flat broke. <laughs> Well, it costs farmers to do something, so they got to get paid for some ways, you know. Uh, two sweaters for me. Oh. I think I paid four bucks a box on my local. It was worth every penny except for hearing something moving it. Ooh. You know what? Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. It's not fun paying the prices, but unfortunately, it costs farmers to the seeds and to grow it in the time and the water. It's not cheap to grow things either anymore. So I guess I kind of allow that too. I, I support my local guy. And sometimes he's a little more pricey than the stores, but I know that it's fresh and I'd rather pay money to him. He's a, he's a little ways from me in the county, but I go get, I buy stuff there. I buy his fruits and vegetables. Um, and he grows some of it himself. And I would rather have that than the stuff in the stores. We kind of pay a little more for that, but it's worth it. That's what I think on it anyway. It is worth it and you help locals. Yeah. I believe in that 100%. I think that's a, I like to do that. Even the grocery stores, um, I, I support people that are local to my area a lot. I try not to go grocery shopping um, unless it's in where I live because they could use it. Um, so I do. I support my local dollar stores. And before I go, I'll put it this way before I go to any other dollar store, normally I would go to the ones right. The grocery store, the dollar store, restaurants, anything locally, I do that first. And if the dollar store doesn't have what I want, then I go to other stores. I go to the out surrounding areas near my house. Um, so that's what I, I do. Like, we'll always go to the same dollar store. There's a dollar grandma, dollar tree. I go there first. If they don't have it, then I go to another dollar store somewhere else or grocery store, whatever, wherever the case may be. And sometimes if I'm visiting my daughter, she lives in another county, um, 
I, or town, whatever. I go and buy stuff there, which she, they, they, it's a good place to support where she is too. So normally that's what I do. The city is the, the last place I go normally to go get stuff, especially with all this stuff going on. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Like restaurants and stuff like that, if they don't have it, Dollar General is the best. I wish we had one of those. Dollar General is a nice dollar store. I don't have one. But I agree. I think it's a good store. Okay, next. Dollar Tree, yeah, so uh, they just opened to, or oh, did they? I like Dollar, they're good. Dollar General, I like Dollar General for sure. I don't have any, but I like them a lot. When I'm in the States, I go there. I like all the dollar stores in the States, most of them, even the ones that you can get some cool things. To stores that are not, um, what is that? even the ones that are kind of locally owned, and dollar stores are not Dollar General. I don't go to the, I always go to the big buck store. I go to the ones where it's like a mom and pop dollar store or something that I go there too, because you can find some really cool stuff in there, what they say. Uh, oh, is it? See, that's what I'm saying, Lisa. I would support different things. It doesn't have to be the main branch stores, a Dollar Tree, a Dollarama. Um, they're actually not the ones that need the help. So all those main ones already have lots of help. So it's the little stores that I kind of check out too when I go somewhere. Somewhere where I don't see a Dollar Tree, a Dollar Store, and I see, I don't know, there's something, store like that, I go to them too. You'll find something different than your average Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Dollar General. You go to the other ones and they're kind of cool too. Of course, that's when I'm on vacation, not here though. Uh, when it's a little granny and want into Woolworths and what's it? it is. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That's, that's a cool store. I heard that it was on Tuesday, but, but never found out any, but somehow gave a tip about, uh, I got two deodorants for seven cents. Ooh, fuck up, okay. Yeah, me, I liked it too. I like Woolworths, Kmart. I worked for Kmart. I liked all those stores. I miss them. That's the kind of store that we need that was kind of reasonable for everybody. And and it was fun. It was fun going to the stores. And, and Woolworths, you could eat. So did Kmart. You could vote. There was restaurants in Woolworths, and, and so was Kmart. Woolworths went out first, and then Kmart years later. They were good ones, yeah. Really good store.
Time is it? Oh, it's still early. I gotta get my stuff ready. We still have a &W. I fell in love with a little red plastic car when I was a little, little. So Granny bought it for me. Twenty years later, I end up driving the very same car, candy apple red. Oh, cool! Mustang's cool. Those things are good. I love that year Mustang. Actually, 1967 Mustang is my friend had. I really love 1967. Um, we still have uh, &W here. And it's kind of like it does the same thing. I think it's it's a drive through. Yeah, I don't think they bring you up. It's a drive through though. A and W. That's a, a drive through, um, and you know they don't because they went out of business for a little while. People didn't like that. I miss that. You know where where you go out in the summertime. Ah, oh, bless her soul. There, at least. You know when you, you A and Ws with or any of them. And there's still one you have in the states that it's really cool. A 50s and you get to go out and uh, they deliver you the food the car you there's only one left and that's in the states you know probably we're gonna rip your front what's that plate it's called you have one there and I love it it's throughout the states and it's still a drive through one it's really cool you know what it's called though Sonic, that's it. It's Sonic. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Kathleen. It's Sonic. I love Sonic. Love, 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 love Sonic. Maybe they should. You know, drive-ins should do that, yeah. For movies and all that. That would be cool. You know, they should make a comeback. Wouldn't that be fun? I love them. I, I still would go to them. I still like, I like drive-ins. I'm tired. Are you? Oh, I'm not. I don't have it here, so that's probably you're tired because maybe you have it too much. But I don't have it a lot, so um, I love it. I miss it. I want more of it. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to throw something out on this box. You could also uh, brush it, you know, like uh, take ink and ink it up on the sides if you want, depending on what you're doing it for. If you're making this a box, I wouldn't ink it if I was putting food in it. But if you're making this box and you want to put a little item in it, you could make it antique looking, this box, by the way. Just a little bit of the FYI. Um, you can sponge the size of this. Antique it and make it look like a really cool box to put a, a special gift in it. Well, look at that voice garble. What? Well, look at that voice garble. Am I, am I garbling? Are you making fun of me, please? Back in the PA, they have lots of drive in theaters still. Oh, yeah? I never went to one. I didn't mean I was in PA and I didn't see a driving near where I was. Otherwise, I would have went to one. I I love them. I noticed it, but we didn't. I don't. We didn't notice the one. The driving theater, but I like them. Are you telling me I'm garbling, or maybe not? 
She said, wow, look at that, that voice. Garble. Uh, there's so much wealth in Seattle, yet there's nothing Korean for to do, and then the homeless situation. I was garbling in my text. Oh, okay. All right. All right, Lise. Yeah, so I like that. There's so much wealth here in Seattle, yet there's nothing grand for our children to do, and the homeless. Um, hmm. You know what? I asked about that. I, I showed it. It was terrible. I, I actually, we didn't film it because, well, my husband and I didn't think it was a good idea. He kind of said, don't film it. But when we went, we saw all the homeless in the drug cart in British Columbia. Lisa was very sad for me. I didn't, I almost didn't even enjoy my vacation there because it's not a vacation to see, to be really sad. Um, and knowing that there's nothing done about it. And apparently, um, in British Columbia, they tried. I uh, they tried. Okay, they tried to put all the homeless in uh, an apartment building or buildings and rooms, hotels, in a hotel. And somebody sued. Yeah, somebody sued the the uh, province. Well, the the uh, British well, Vancouver. So the mayor of Vancouver or whatever the was sued from one of the people that they get, that was homeless. Um, that's what made it bad because I think they got COVID or something in the building. And so they got upset and, it, but they were trying to get them off the streets and trying to help them. That's what was that. I asked about that. Um, well, sometimes when you look at the big picture, you find out that they actually made attempts, but uh, you know, the big old being sued doesn't help. You try to do something good and then something comes after you and, and sues you for it. Um, I think that's totally wrong. If they weren't doing anything about it, or maybe they had their reason, maybe they just didn't look good. It doesn't look good on the city. I'm just telling you to walk, you drive into the main thing of Vancouver, which is a major city, and all you see is homeless people and drunk people right from the very beginning when you go in. So it doesn't look good for the city. But um, like I said, the they were trying something and, and just they got sued so they couldn't do it so they leave them on the streets and then and i talked to some of my friends that's a nurse uh, well i talked to some my friend that's the nurse up the street and she told me some people that are homeless don't want to have a home they like living they like living homeless. They, that's the way they, they were always doing it. And the minute you kind of control them and put them in a house, they don't like it. So um, it's not as simple, I guess. That's, you know, it's not as simple as sometimes we think it is to get the homeless somewhere else because there's many reasons why they're not. Not as simple as people are being mean and not giving them a home. <clears throat> like, what is the solution? Hey, Kristen, hello. I'm sure all of this didn't help. I guess you got to make a difference. Even if it's a small difference, whatever you can do um, to make a small difference or something, you do. I don't think God is asking us to change the world, but he is asking, well, he's asking us all together to change it to a better place for everybody. 
but that takes a lot of teamwork in, in the right direction. That's why I think, you know, you just remind me of the show I've been watching. Well, it's not, at least, but not everybody wants, I hate to say it, I don't mean to be mean, but not everybody feels the same way as what you might or I might about religion. So that's a whole other story in itself. But it doesn't, it, it, if you do it in the right way, it's not going to hurt to promote God and Jesus in the right way. If you slam it down their face, they're not going to like it. If you do it in a way that gets the point in a different way, then they'll get it, and that might help. I'm, I'm, Misha, I am currently moving to Silva. Right, the right way. He knows a person's hurt. We don't. That's true. Coffee. Oh, I got two left to do. Two left, two hours. I don't know if it would have been that bad. Like, if you were doing it alone, um, well, I am doing most of it, but uh, it's, it's enough by the time I'm done. I'm not doing anymore. This is enough bosses. And I'm not building them, like I said. I'm just going to put them away. All right, here's my acetate. All my left. I put all my acetate here. I bought some. Uh, talking about for who are we talking about for? How was last night? We're talking about here or um, who are we talking about, please? Well, how was supper last night? It was good. We had sparrows. I didn't read it right. We had sparrows. For me, supper was good. Today, I'm going to make some meatloaf. Um, what's today? Today is Thursday, Friday. I'm making pierogies, I think. Uh, it makes pierogies. I need something non non meat for, for Friday. I got to get uh, doing some more journal covers. Well, it's not journal, I call them journal covers, but I got to do some more of the. the I'm all done. I did three Advent uh, books. So what should I call it? An Advent book cover? I, ha I have to do... I'm down to three. I need five more. Um, I got to do some because I can't do any more work on it because I have no books left. So I have to get them all done. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty good. They're not pretty good. It was really good, actually. That recipe that is, it's on the front, the ones that I, we do in a halogen oven. Um, I've, I've grown to really like it. There's a little spot on here I don't like, but I'm not going to clean these off before I put them together. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Wow, nice to be getting ready in my my own bedroom. Oh, I bet. It's always nice to be home and nice to be in your own bed for sure. Always. I know, I miss it when I go away. There's nothing like your bed that, than that. At home. I mean, you get used to it, but when you get home, you're so happy to be home. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you multitasking? What are you doing? All right, here we go. Ah, only one more left to do. Get all this done, and tomorrow I gotta do the covers. I gotta get them done. I'm trying to get a lot of projects in before the summertime, because I'll be outside a lot. I will definitely, it's first sign of spring and I'm out of here. I'm outside. 
We got more dogs coming soon, yeah. Is today? Oh, today's Thursday. Okay. I need some more coffee. Coffee, ole. Oh, yeah, I wanted to make a strawberry shortcake. I don't know if I'm going to do that today or tomorrow. I thought I'd be make a nice dessert. I don't know if I have the whipped cream, but I'm thinking to make a, a strawberry shortcake. For dessert, whether I have time today, I don't know. Today's Wednesday, is it? I must have lost track of days. Today's Wednesday, okay. And then it probably thinks, why did I get stuck with these ninnies? Oh, you're funny. I, uh, right. And it's not Thursday yet. I don't know. Why did I feel like it's Thursday? I'm looking at my food calendar, and we were supposed to do uh, spare ribs on Wednesday, and we must have done Tuesday. So, yeah, maybe pork chops tomorrow, maybe. Uh, happy hump day. So, yeah, I'm thinking I bought strawberries. But he bought an extra pack because they were on sale for uh, two for six dollars. So, I am thinking. Um, Um, I'm thinking of making a strawberry shortcake. Never skip a meal. What else is breakfast? I'm not good with breakfast. I got to be better. I really do. Breakfast is the one that I'm really bad at. I don't feel like eating. I just like a cup of coffee when I get up in the morning. And I really should be eating and I'm not hungry. I, I'm more of a night snacker, which is really not good. I don't know. I'd tell you I'd attempt to go do something this year. But I'm not sure if I can. That's why I don't want to say anything. I would love to change my eating habits, but it's not easy to do for me. I hope I could fit two in these. I don't think I can. I got one more left.
All right, let me dry. Next, okay. Oh, no, they have a small creation museum there by donations only. They have lots, lots of scientific stuff really neat. Are you talking about, let me make sure we say it right. Bronson Museum. Branson. Branson. Are you talking about Branson, Missouri? I knew you were going to do that as soon as I said it. Oh, oh, no. No, don't torture me today. No, leave me alone. Anyways, okay. Don't torture me. No. Oh my God, imagine having a little nitpicker come along and say, oh, you pronounced this wrong. If I did that, I would drive people crazy. I'm telling you, you didn't pronounce that right. Make sure you go ahead and correct people how they pronounce things all the time because that won't annoy anybody. So Misha says, I'm wrong. Oh, no, it's this way. You're not saying it right. It's my box turned out cute. Oh, good. Yeah. No, it's all right. I'm just, it's all good. And you still don't want it. I'm just, I am just teasing too. It's fine. It's you, my darling friend. It's okay. It's you and Kristen. Christian, Kristen, Christian, whatever her name is. Kristen. It's fun. I am so sorry. All righty. So, Kathleen, did you decorate it all pretty, your little box? Misha, are you making any boxes? Um, all right. How many did I make? I, you know, I did quite a few. I don't, I'm not doing no more after this, this one done. I am done like a dinner. I have to get these projects done. I'm going to do, like I said, one project at a time, and I'm trying to find some cheap stuff to do that I would think that people would like to make, but that I would make for sure. You know, there's a purse that I wanted to make too. That might take me a lifetime, though. A little, how big your purses do you use? Do you use a really big purse or a little purse or like a wallet sized purse? Or do you even use a purse? That's what I want to know. So just a pattern box I have to to go pick up the my meds going to town. Um, oh wait a minute. 
Not yet. I'm I'm doing my hair all through watching the country. Oh, you're really sweet. You're very sweet there, Misha. I don't know how I like to say it any easier than what I did. It wasn't that hard. I gotta go put the plaster on this one. I don't want to cut a new piece. I'm hoping I have enough to still look back. Do I? <gasps> yes. Um, mine's being much for Yeah. I'm going to do one more for you because you're a pain in a butt, Misha. And I'm going to do one step by step. One more. And then that's it for the road. As he's dry, then I'm going to count how many I did. Misha, this is for you. Let's see what color I want to do, though. One more, and then I'm done for the boxes. I'm just letting them dry, and then I'll come back and count them all. I need one more done from start to finish. To make sure that you understand this for you. So I wouldn't want you to decode the way I explain things. Get your notepad ready. For the 10,000th time, I'm repeating this again. You will need an eight and a half by 11. Okay, can you please say the measurements out loud just for me? I'm gonna do it just for you. Because of your decoding thing, which uh, it's like getting kicked in the butt. So for you, I'll do it step by step. And any questions you ask, go slow for me. <laughs> <It's> gonna, I, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it again, one step by step. All right. <laughs> she's saying you're giving me a hard time so she's kind of defending me saying I don't think I was that complicated my skills here to explain myself <laughs> oh boy all right what color Mish this is for you I'm gonna go step by <laughs> she was beating me up and I just <laughs> all right Mish, what color do you want? Okay, what color do you want? Give me, you gotta pay attention to this, Misha. It won't take that long, I swear to you. If you actually pay attention, maybe that's why you're not paying attention, you're all over the place. It really is not that complicated, I swear to you. Um, because you said you have to rewatch it, you can rewatch it too. But she was beating me up there. All right, so. What color? Uh, all I need is a rate of passage. Hey, what what color do you like, Misha? I'm gonna go get the special color for you. This is gonna be from start to finish. This is for you, Misha. I'm gonna go exactly it. And if there's any questions, 
You have to stop me and tell me, okay? Before I get off, this is the last box I'm going to do. So um, what, which one, which color do you want? Give me a color that you like that's for Christmas. Oh, no. No, listen to her. No, Missy. Oh, no. Um, gold. Oh, I don't have, can you do another color? Gold. She's so funny. Can you pick a color besides gold? I don't have gold. Actually, no, I don't even have one. That would be expensive to me because those sheets are expensive. Can you give me a color that's non gold? I know you like gold, but I don't have gold. I don't have any gold sheets. You got to give me something. How I could do it. Yeah, about a nice military. Green. You want a green? Okay. All right. Give me, I'll, I'll, we'll get a green. I'll be right back. All right, I'm laughing so hard. Off, off with her head. She doesn't need read like me. Wait, she doesn't read like me. All right, here it's right here. Uh, okay, Misha, you ready, honey? And anybody, not just Misha, but for anybody. All right, eight and a half. This is, I picked a different green because I kind of thought this was a kind of cool green for uh, for Easter, so, or anything. It looks like a pear green. Eight and a half by 11, right? Eight and a half by 11. We're going to score this eight and a half side. Okay, get ready. Ready? Okay, tell me when you're caught up. Okay, so you need an eight and a half by 11 card stock. Because they do come in by 12 by 12s and everything. You are going to score it at two inches on both sides of the eight and a half. All right. Okay. I think why people get confused. I'm not going to take it personally. because, But the thing is people jump in when you're kind of doing stuff. And they didn't pay attention at the beginning of when you started the live stream. So um, that, of course, is going to get confusing if you don't watch from the beginning. But anyways, okay, so on the 11th side, we're going to go two, five, seven, ten. Okay? So two, on the eight and a half inch side, we scored at two inches on both sides. Uh, that was not the eight and a half. That was, that was not the eight and a half. Yeah, it was. This is eight and a half. Eight and a half, right here. Eight and a half. Eight and a half side. There's, that was something that this is the eight and a half side. You're scoring two inches on both sides, Mish. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. That's eight and a half right here. Okay, so oh, two inches on both sides of an eight and a half. You score both flip it around you can go you could either do it two and six and a half or just do two and then flip it around and do two two on both sides okay so now the 11th side let's try this again the 11th side you're going to score right two five seven ten
Please tell me when you're caught up, okay? Eight and a half is two inches on both sides. On the eleventh side, here's eleven. You're gonna go two, five, seven, and ten. You got it. Okay. So then the part that I don't want to confuse you is right here. I'm gonna only bend it right here. Let's do it here. There's the seven. There's the ten inch line. We're gonna flip it around, and you're gonna to have to come in. Don't go past the seven. Here's my finger. Here's a ruler so you can see it. All right. That was the 10 and 7 line. You're going to split the difference and you're going to go in one inch right here. You're going to one inch, go all the way down to that 7 line. That's all you want you to do this one, right? One inch to 7 line. That's facing the 8 and a half inch side. You're going to go over here and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go where the one inch side is. That's three. You're going to go seven and a half. Seven and a half, right? You can see it? All those lines. You, you tell me if you're with me so far. Give me a thumbs up when you're all caught up to me. And then I know I can move on. And I'm going to get all my scraps cleaned up while we're doing this. Yeah, so you're right there, uh, right at the top where this is going to fold. You know that's your lid, right? And yeah, that's the top part because we're going to come across and cut this section out. Okay, wait. So if you're caught up to me, I'll move on. I'm going to take. I don't need any more scoring done. The scoring's done. In fact, I can put things away as I go. <sighs> yeah, you're good? Okay. So, Lee, uh, Misha, right here, these got to come off. You got to cut that. Now, when I'm having a hard time understanding something, the way I write down a pattern, I don't just write it, okay? I actually do a diagram to make it easier. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I actually would put, I don't just put score. I'm going to tell you, this is what I would do for myself if I didn't understand what somebody was doing. I literally take a piece of paper and I do this. Well, I made the pattern up, so, so this is a piece of paper. This is what I do. Okay, so this is eight and a half inches. This is 11 and a half inches, right? Then I scored at two right here. You, you mark all the levels. There's one inch, then another one, and another one. And you actually, yeah, do a little bit on a piece of paper so you don't get it wrong, right? So 11 and a half, you score at two inches on both sides. So you put, mark it that way. And you do a draft besides writing it down so it makes more sense. And then I would put a, a thing right here and say, cut, cut. And then I would literally, you'll know to cut that section right here. You wrote cut. So you cut it off. But this is also scored in half. So you're cutting just this section and this section off. And you do a little rough draft of it. Besides marking where to score it, it'll be less confusing to you too. That's what I do. <clears throat> Fancy print, fancy printer talk. Okay, so I'm going to cut here. 
and we're basically up to the cutting part that we're just going to cut along the sides. Cut that one down. If not, cut this one down. So well, ours have extra grease. <laughs> All right, there he is. You got the pattern down here. That's your lid, right? There's your lid. And if I fold it all up. And it really looks so well. I guess that's true. If you make mistakes in it, definitely looks so me. Absolutely, if that's what you want. And see, all together. Now, the next step are you got you, you all caught up to me? Is there any confusion? Anything? Do you understand what I just said? I, I don't want to move forward until you understand. We do it on purpose. Okay. Lisa, I gotta make sure Misha understands. <laughs> so you guys, Misha, are you caught up? You understand what I'm doing now? Besides, I'm cleaning up my mess. See all this stuff. I'm gonna put it together. I can cut cute little flowers and put them on the box too if I want. Actually, we'll see. Sometimes it's 1:30. As long as I get off soon, I can actually come back, snap flowers, and I can actually do extra flowers and, and decorate anyway. There's my crank here. I don't have to put the daisy on it or the tulip. I can sit there. And cut flowers out and, and decorate them that way too. Nisha, I might even put this whole one together. I don't know if she's caught up to me, but I'm going to put this box together and I'll put the ribbon on it and I'll have three boxes totally done. And that's it. I don't want to put any more boxes than that um, and, and finish that. I'm sorry, dealing with, uh, oh, my son, I have to take him back. Oh, no. Aww. You do. You deal with your son. Don't worry about it. You can always, like you said, uh, figure this out. I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that, sweetie. I'm going to go like this. This time I'm going to cut it this way. Yeah, Mish, prayers to you too, sweetie pie. We will take care of your son. No problem. We will take care of your son. I get it. You need any help, you just ask. I could do it later. I could do this again. If you wanted me to put a box in front of you, Mish, I would do that for you. Um, or figure it out, I guess. Yeah, you go take care of your son. Way more important than boxes.
gonna check the mail, see what I got in the mail. See if I got anything good. So, do, so you're gonna do you're gonna go into town and just, um when you make the boxes, send me it on Facebook there. I'll uh I'll check it out. I'm sure you're gonna decorate them really cute, Kathleen, when you're ready. Like I said, I'm not putting them, I'm not gonna put this one together. I'm just gonna leave it blank and then I'm gonna count how many I actually did. Uh, which is cool. I love it. I like, I got to see how many boxes I got. I got the four, my daughter, um, husband, and the kids. That's four um, boxes I need for sure. And then I got um, my neighbor, this the nurse up the street. I'm going to make her one, I think. I'm going to make a couple people around the neighborhood a, a few of these. Uh, no, it's with the crappy doctor office saying. He has to come back in person to get the insurance papers done when he faced the oh that sucks. Oh freaking just probably want an office call payment. Oh that sucks. Oh you can fax it? Okay, good. If you don't have to go back, if you just fax, that's ridiculous. There's ways of making payments. And you can fax it. I have a fax machine. That's that works good. You shouldn't even have to go. If you get a fax, you can just literally sign the paper and fax it to them. And then as long as they got a document with the signature on it, even if it's faxed, it's still legal. Oh no, we can't fax. Why can't? Oh, yeah. The, oh, they're not letting them. That's stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. It's stupid. They can't just send fax the papers, let them sign it, and send it back. They need to drive all the way back. That's just ridiculous. But I guess they want to make sure it's him. Yes. Up a lot of this crop here. Hmm. Holy. I think it was up all my um, acetate, the, the crop one, the, not crop, but scrap ones, but I got nothing big enough. So it leads me to, I need this for all my. Um, I've been telling you that this stuff. I got I'm like 10 sheets, so I'm trying to be uh, careful how I use them. This is a really heavy one, too. These are good. I bought good ones for my boxes. I want them to be really nice and sturdy. Crack into me, please. Okay. Last box I'm going to get. It's long. It's fine. Oh, gosh. Wait until I do that box my daughter has. Boy, that's going to be fun. That's a lot of tricky. That's a really tricky box. This one's hard for you. That other one is oblong. It's just like this. 
It's got all kinds of corners to it. It's a really cool box I made. Um, I didn't, it's not my design. I found it, but I got to remember how to do that one. But it's a cool design. And I did them for my daughter's wedding, these boxes. And I made, I think, over 150, 150 boxes. Yeah. Sorry you can't fax it. It does suck. I think all these boxes will come in handy, you know, at Christmas or something. They're not strong, strong, but if you're going to give a little bit of a gift, though, it's kind of cool little boxes to put jewelry or whatever. Um, yeah, it is ridiculous. I don't, I don't blame you. I, I would be annoyed to, if I had to go all the way back. I hear you. Don't blame you at all. I'm going to get some coffee here. Uh, Oh, I'm on for three hours. I'm so okay. okay. Oh my God. There's my face, my hair, my. Hmm. Sorry, I don't want them to stick to each other. Sorry for a couple minutes. See how many I got. I did quite a few. Let's see. And I'm going to store them in a little place to pay. Oh, they're not totally dry. But uh, I'm going to store them. A little dry. See, they're not going to, as long as the glue didn't get on on the edges and it's all dry, they shouldn't stick to each other. They shouldn't. I don't think I'm going to put them away right away. I got to let the glue dry. They dry. Look at how many. That's cool. And I got that one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, I got 11, and two that I made already, 11, 13 boxes I did. Ooh, right here, let me put the little two in it. Yeah, I get, that's the original one. Sorry, right, make sure I did the right way. Yeah, that's the original one, right there. And then I made this one in front of everybody, right there. And yeah, I got 13 boxes I got. That wasn't bad, right? I mean, I'm talking and that, but I could have probably, this was like, you could do it like an assembly long and you could be done in, that was 13 boxes. I didn't put them together, mind you. So, um, but putting them together doesn't take you that long. You could be, I'm basically saying that's, you get a lot done. You could get a lot done. If this was, you're trying to do this, this once you get the pattern down, you figure out how to do it exactly. You just keep on doing it like an assembly line and you can get a whole bunch of these done. And you don't have to, like I said, I got one here. That's my draft. When I make these boxes up, there's my draft here. I actually designed my boxes right here. You can see it. I actually put all the points here and then I come out and cut a good one, which is right here. So I did two. two. One's a draft box. One I actually literally cut to make sure it turns out good. And then you don't have to do the cover like this one here. I don't have to do all the acetate in there. It looks just as cute as a plain box. Like I showed you already. Here's the, So some of them, I can come back and do a whole bunch of plain ones and not cut them out, right? And if I want to cut them out, I don't want to cut them out. I can store them that way. And yeah. So there it is. Look, it's really cute, actually. But you don't have to. There it is. You don't have to put the acetate. They're cute as it is. Just put a, a rope around them. Put some cookies in it. Make sure you line it with box paper or parchment. And again, yeah. They're nice either way. They look cute. If you don't want to do all the work of putting the acetate in, don't. Just make them like this. So this becomes, basically, um, I can put it on this pile because this is actually done. I don't need, I don't need this anymore. I can put it as a box. 
I will save my this one here. I'll put it in my notebook that Kathleen I made that Kathleen gave me. This will stay on top. So I actually have a literally a pattern right here to keep the pattern right here. And now I'm gonna just uh close them up. I'm gonna put them together. I'll pack them in right now so that when I get off, I'm totally done. Just give me a second. I need a plastic bag. I want to put them in something and then I'll show you. I'm done. All right, there's my bag. I had paper in it. Uh, okay, I'm trying to make some. You're gonna make some now? Okay, I'm trying to make one. Oh, you don't. Well, I'm here. You don't have to. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna pack them uh, and put them on my shelf. This is. This was. I had bought a lot of Christmas paper to build those object boxes, and I kept all the the leftover. The pages came in here. The it's called scrapbooking pages, and it came in here. And I kept these plastic. I'm keeping them. I have a sealer, so you, I could actually, I could actually cut this down, seal the side, and it's a perfect fit. But since I'm in front of you, this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually, um, I can close it this way, or I'm going to close it this way. They're not totally dry. That's the bad part. So I'm not going to totally put them away. But I'm actually going to bring them in like this, like I did before. These are dry, those aren't, but I'm going to close it in. Close it in half. And then I need something to keep the weight down. I'm going to take these and store them all together in this bag. But make sure it's all dry. I want to make sure all the glue's dry. Yeah, I'm going to just come in here. When they squish down, they'll be fine because you're squishing them on the creases. Right? And then I can go back and do the next box. Well, this one, I don't need to do anything. I'm just going to fold this one over really good. These aren't dry yet, so I don't want to put these away. If they're not dry, don't put them away until they're totally dry because I just think that it's not a good idea. It's, well, I'm looking to see if there's any dry ones. I guess they're all kind of wet still. It's almost dry. Wet. That one's almost dry. I can almost put this one away. It's still got some glue, a little bit wet on it, so I'm not going to put that one away. Give that a couple minutes.
What's the measurement? Um, I don't. I can give you a measurement, but you should just be. If as long as you stay within, go a little less than this. As long as your measurement is, let's see. It's got four and a quarter. You're just measuring here, Kathleen, right here. But if, even if you're off, it doesn't really matter. So you're gonna go. Um, where's it going? It looks like it's about. You might have to trim it, but I'm telling you it's about two and three quarters by uh, sure I did this right. four and a quarter. That's good enough. If you trim it down, go a little less, but it's is about four and a quarter. It's, it's four and a half, okay? But I think I want you to go less than that. So four and uh, so many eights. Four and a quarter, a little past four and a quarter. Four and a quarter and two and three quarters. Four and a quarter, two and three quarters. Close enough. It should fit the box. All right, these are not quite. I don't like them that they're still a little bit wet. I'm gonna dry, but I think they're so close to being dry. I want to put them all away. And this way, I can get off of here, and I have it all set. I just have to put this in my craft room. I have a shelf where I'm putting all the boxes in my room. And then I have it all set. And I think this takes up way less space than making all the boxes. This is what I want to do. You don't have to do that, but I like it. I like the fact that as long as you fold them there, it shouldn't wreck the boxes. Don't put anything on top of them. Put them to the side on. Should be fine. I don't, this is not quite, I need it bigger than this. I'm going to work with it. I think it's a little smaller would be perfect. So I got tape. Tape, so I'm gonna tape it up.
read on it. I don't know the bag I have right now. Otherwise, I could put it in a small room. I'm doing this. Because the fact there's too much air on the side. But it's going to fit. And you'll see. It's going to be done. Now we've got a couple more to do. Three more in the box. Thanks for my coordination putting them in here. All right, so that, oh yeah, I still gotta do the banner. I still gotta do, try to find that Easter banner and I'll work on that. I have that hat I wanna show you later. I don't know, that'll be awkward to do, so I don't know if I can do it on it or not. I'll just show you what I did. With the hat. <laughs> I'm going to put the pink one in here. I want to put my... It's a little too awkward. I should have cut it down. I might later and come back and just cut this in half. I could put another set of boxes, but um, I like the fact that just putting it away, that takes up way more, all those boxes would have took up way more room than this package right here. And as long as you hold it fine, 
You shouldn't have them. The boxes shouldn't get wrecked. Be careful how you fold them in front of the bag. And they got a lot of air in them. So we're getting at it. I don't know who stayed with me, but thank you for uh, watching this boring part of me putting in the bag. All right. Paper clips. Oh, oh, cool. So, okay. Oh, yeah, it's almost done. Oh, cool. Do you like it? Is it cute? They're just little boxes. I can't, you can't do really the biggest one I showed you already was a baker's box. So you can't go too big with boxes when you're using eight and a half or even a 12 by 12 only goes so big. Um, so, okay. His ortho said they can do it through email. Sonic hopes the insurance will accept it from them. Oh, good. I hope so. I think that's ridiculous. You have to travel that far to go do this. Yeah. Ridiculous. Such. At least I'm getting my mess done too. As soon as I get off here, all cleaned up. Oh, I'm putting elastic around this curve box so I don't it's so well over the place. Anyways, that's three and a half hours. I gotta get going. It's two o'clock. Um, I'm still early to do dinner quite yet, but I gotta get it all set. So I thank you guys for sticking with me. I know I've been on for a while, and if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't come. So thank you so much for uh, joining me today. I, I get my boot three and a half hours is a long time. I can get my booty going. No, that's no, you don't. I no, you don't score at a one and two inch on the long side. It only goes to one point there, Mish. Mish. You score it at one inch and two inches on the long side. No, you only score two inches. Are you messing with me? And it only goes one inch from the 10 point to the seven and 10. You just score it one inch. I, I, hopefully you're joking. Hopefully you're joking there, Missy. Don't score one inch all along the thing or you're gonna have a score line in it that you won't want. Oh, no, thanks, Kathleen. I, I hope you, like I said, Kath, if you don't want to do it, it's fine. But I appreciate that you, do you, I, I want to ask you, do you actually like doing them when I do it or are you just doing it to be nice to me? Um, thank you for, okay, it works better that way. I got it now. Oh, well, it has a score line. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't do the score line there. Kept saying it, but um, at least you got a draft. You know what to do the next time. If you want to make them, then don't score where you're not supposed to score. It, you know, we all learn lessons. Just keep that as a sample to, to know what not to do. Yeah, do you like doing that? Okay, cool. So so you enjoy doing the boxes. I'm not doing another box tomorrow. Not for a while. I'll give you guys a break. But um, so far, tomorrow I want to do the covers. We can all chat. If I come on tomorrow, it's chatting. You know I'm going to do more book covers. I'm trying to do one tonight, actually. Well, I want to make a basket too, though, Mish. That's another pro project I got too. So I got the tulips were done for Easter. The box was done for Easter. Uh, Mish, you want to do a banner? So we're going to figure out a banner. That's going to take me a little bit of, of pieces. And I want to do this basket that I think is really cool. But I think I'm going to try it offline first um, because I got to see what it looks like. Some of these I can do directly on, and some I want to do at least one. So I figured even if I made two Easter baskets, or baskets, I think they're going to be really cool. But that one, you need cardboard. 
So what I'll do is make it, show you guys it, and then I'll come back and do it. And if you're interested in doing it with me, Ken, or watching it, doesn't matter. So, and, yeah. I'll give the one I messed up to my hub. <laughs> no. Well, anyways, yeah. Thanks so much. We'll we'll do it again. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Let's uh, whatever you want to do. I'll show you what I'm doing next. Uh, I already warned you what I'm doing. I'm doing those flowers, the mint one, the metal ones. I'm doing something with toilet paper. You're gonna like that one though. I think um, I'll show. I'm gonna do one offline and show you. Do you like this? And then you'll know whether you want to do it or not. Because I, I, I'm gonna do one of the toilet paper ones. The flower one is easy, so I'm going to do that online when I get enough tin cans. I'm going to do that one. The journal is coming along. I have to put it, fix it, bind it, and put it for sale, the, the cancer journal. So I'll be done with that for sure. All right. Anyways, um, I'm off to go make dinner and everything and clean up. So guys, have a good day. Thank you for joining me. Um, and I'll try to be on tomorrow, like I said. I'll see what I can do when I feel like in the morning. If everything goes well, I don't get a phone call from anybody. I'll be here. Uh, till then, take care. Plus, thank you very much. You have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you. Bye for now.